welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about my top 10 Switch games that I've played um, based on hours played. Quick disclaimer, um, there's not really a way to just like see a list of your games that you've played on Switch along with like the number of hours you've played. Um, except for in your profile you can see the last 20 titles you've played and you can sort, if you go into your library, you can sort your games by hours played um, but it doesn't tell you the hours each profile has played. Um, so this is based off of going into my library and sorting by hours played. So some of these are in order according to how many hours Nick and I have played. Um, so this might not technically be the right order for just me personally, um, but I think that all these games do belong in the top 10. It just maybe in a different place. Number 10 is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, I got that when it first came out. I got, I even got the little, I should have brought it upstairs with me. I even got the little uh, ball controller, the Pokeball controller. Um, and I loved playing that game. I thought it was really fun. N number 9 is New Pokemon Snap. Um, I never played the original Pokemon Snap, so I'm surprised that I love the, the new Pokemon Snap so much. But it was just such a fun, simple game. Taking pictures of Pokemon. Um, riding through these like beautiful areas, looking at the, all the cute little Pokemon, it was just it was just relaxing. So I, I actually streamed a lot of that game as well. Number eight is Super Mario Odyssey. Um, I played that game with Nick. I played as Cappy, uh, and we really enjoyed it. It was really really fun. Number seven is one that m many people might not have heard of before. It's called Layton's Mystery Journey. Uh, it's a uh, Professor Layton game um, based on his daughter, I believe, <clears throat> and she uh, does puzzles and solves mysteries. Number six is Pokemon Violet. That one is obviously the most recent one that just came out. I really enjoyed that game. Um, I'm almost done my Pokedex. If anyone out there has Scarlet and wants to help me finish my Pokedex, I would really, really appreciate that. Please get in touch. Number five is Pokemon Sword. I spent so much time trying to grind out my full Pokedex in that game. Um, I never quite finished it. Uh, I did get a couple of the really rare fish Pokemon, I remember that victory, but I never did finish it. And I never beat the fi final, uh, the Elite Four either. Number four is Dragon Quest Builders 2. Um, this game is super fun. It's kind of like Minecraft, but like with a plot um, and like an actual storyline and campaign. Um, it's really fun. Basically, you're just like going into these different areas and building up little um, establishments and. Um, uh, exploring spaces and fighting monsters and um, it's based on the Dragon Quest uh, franchise so if you're familiar with that um, but yeah it was really really fun I actually highly recommend this game number three is Stardew Valley uh, we knew that we were gonna be seeing that on this list because I am so obsessed with Stardew Valley that is also based just on my switch playing um, it doesn't include the many hours I also have on PC number two is Animal Crossing New Horizons again love that game streamed the crap out of it I streamed it so much um, and I loved playing it. It was so much, such a fun game. If you haven't played it yet, um, I don't know if it'd be as fun to play now as it was like in the in its prime, like when it first came out, because uh, there's not as many people playing it. But I still think it'd be worth playing. And my number one used technically app on the Switch is YouTube. I have by far the most hours in YouTube. Um, I watch I watch basically all my YouTube on the Switch. Um, every night we, when we eat dinner we watch YouTube on the Switch while we eat. So that one has at least a thousand hours, like 1200 hours on it. So yeah, that's my top 10 um, most used game slash apps on the Nintendo Switch. Um, let me know if you have played any of these games before, if you enjoyed them, um, if you have any game recommendations based off of what I have played before for me. Um, I'd also appreciate hearing those down in the comments below. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later days!